Hello everyone, Ross is here again and today we'll make a couple of benchmarks on both devices Samsung S20 and Samsung S21 This is last year flagship and this one is this year flagship The biggest difference between two devices are the CPUs This one is using Exynos 990 and this one is using latest Exynos 2100 which should be a lot more improved than last year CPU because it wasn't very good it wasn't on the same level with Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 I hope this one Exynos will be a lot more better ok let's start with the benchmark both devices are charged to 100% both devices are using the same brightness 80% both devices are freshly restarted and both devices are connected to same Wi-Fi network. Also, they are with turned off sound with removed SIM cards. So, to be sure, mobile network is not draining battery. Let's remove the chargers. And now, we can run the benchmarks. Let's start first with Antutu. Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy S21 Let's check first at what temperature we are start thirty four degrees for S20 and thirty degrees for S21 Let's run the benchmark Ok guys, both devices are ready. You can see a very high score from Exynos 2100 and here is 990. Both devices are finished almost at the same time and they start with 100% and they are now at 94% battery. S20 start at 35.2 degrees, S21 start at 31.6. Peak temperature here 41.3 and here it was 40.6 The S20 finished at 40.8 degrees and the S21 finished at 39.4 degrees You can check the result I will leave the device to cool down a little bit and will continue with the second benchmark Let's check what's happening in the background Nothing Everything is clear. Guys, I forget to tell you that both devices are using latest software update for them. Ok, let's start with the Geekbench 5. 35.7 degrees for S20 and 34.5 for S21.
that's it guys both devices finish s21 single core score 554 and multi core score 2570 and here single core 781 and multi core score 3380 we already see that the S21 finished the Geekbench 5 a lot more faster. You also check the temperature. And guys, something else I forget to tell you. 120Hz refresh rate on their screens. This one is using new adaptive system and this is constant 120Hz. Okay, let's kill Geekbench. S20 is 91% battery and S21 is 92% battery. Let's check the temperature. 36 for S20 and 34.1 for S21. And I think we are ready to run 3D Mark. Overall score for S20 is 2158. Overall score for S21 is 5652, which is more than double. For now, the new Exynos chip 2100 is doing the great job. Performance monitor battery 91% to 90, and here we have 92 to 91. Temperature 39 to 39. I'm not sure it's very accurate and here is 36 to 38 frame rate is from 8 fps to 17 fps and here is 7 fps to 45 fps all right guys let's do the final test let's go back and just we'll make the 3d mark stress test we are ready let's just tap on the play button Ok guys, 20 minutes stress test is finally over, let's see the results. I can say one thing, the new Exynos 2100 is a lot more hotter during the benchmarks. You can see what's happened here on performance range, probably this happens because the new Exynos CPU 2100 is still a new CPU, maybe updates are needed and this one is one year older and you can see what's the difference in loop 1 and loop 11 almost no difference and here you can see on loop 18 how the performance is going down very big difference honestly i don't expect this performance monitoring battery start at 89 percent and end at 82 to s20 and here start at 90 and end 
at 80 which is again victory for the old Exynos CPU temperature here is from 37 to 39 and here it's from 37 to 45 and it was even hotter you can see on my temperature gun this is the summary of everything the new Exynos 2100 here wins on frame rates it's consistent and here we have one big drop let's go in up and you can see again performance range here it's very consistent almost the same at loop 1 and loop 11 and here at uh, loop 1 and loop 18 I'm very disappointed from this because the difference is very big and that's it guys these are all the tests that we made on the S20 Exynos 990 and here on the S21 using Exynos 2100 of course me and my friend the temperature gun will leave the conclusion to you and if you like this video because it was a lot of work please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos have a nice day!